Hi, this is Craig Campana, and I wanted to give you an opportunity to do a quick demo on how easy it is to set up your blog. This is one of the common things that I hear from most people. It's a common objection that they feel that they don't have enough time to set up a blog or to blog daily. And so I just wanted to run through a little bit on how easy it is to set up a blog, number one. And second part to this is uh, to give an example of how easy it is to blog daily. Uh, obviously, there's some caveats to this. Um, you want to think about a theme. Um, you maybe want to do some research in terms of keywords and things of that nature, but this is with the assumption that you've done all that and you're ready to get your blog up and running. Essentially, this is what you would do. So I'm gonna follow along on the screen here and give you a shot of what happens when you are opening up a brand new blog. So I'm gonna log in here to my back office and I've got a blog that I have not set up yet. So I'm going to show you how easy that is to do. Log into a new blog that I have not set up. So I want to kind of keep track of the time at this point. What I'm doing is I'm setting up a connection with each of my social media accounts so that when I establish a blog post, it's actually going to connect with all of these different mediums right, uh, right at the time that I publish it. So I'm just gonna go through and click on these different buttons and it's actually going to connect with all my different social media accounts. So that takes a little bit of time, but it gives you a check mark when it has completed that and sometimes you have to click to authorize an app but it's going to tell you when it's all done now i'm going to connect to linkedin this is providing that you have a linkedin account so if you don't you definitely want to get that started before you uh, start trying to connect your social media avenues now i'm going to connect to youtube and so i'm going to click on the appropriate account for that. And so my social media is all set up at this point. <clears throat> this is a new site that I have chosen. It's uh, on the great resume hunt. And all of that can be changed later, but at this point I'm just going to put in uh, a title so we can kind of show you how to get this set up quickly. And so essentially my blog is all set up. Uh, I can start blogging now, but I've got to do some preliminary things in terms of selecting the theme that I want to do. But essentially, uh, it's taken me all of three minutes at this point to set up my blog. Now I'm going to go into themes, and we have a number of different themes that one can select. I'll just kind of review what's available. Each one has a little bit different viewpoint. Some has uh, opportunities for video, others would be a straight, this one is more straight content. But if you will be recording video on YouTube and you want to include that in your blog, that's definitely doable. And so there's a lot of different formats here. Uh, for the sake of clicking a uh, format. I'm going to activate this one called the written word. And so right now that is actually live on my site so I can visit the site right here. Now understanding that there's some setting up that I have to do uh, you know as far as with uh, your background and things like that. 
But essentially, at this point, you are pretty much ready to go to actually start blogging. So I want to actually go back to my dashboard. And there's a number of things that you would want to do to actually get your dashboard uh, set up properly. And that's basically your fonts, uh, your colors, things of that nature. Okay, so your theme settings, this gives you all of your general setup modes where you have um, and it's going to give you kind of a preview of what's changing so if you do any kind of changes it's going to show you right off the bat so if you want to take a different um, title you want to add a, a, an actual visual logo you can do that at this point I just have it set up for text so these are some of the things that you want to think about do you want to have a logo on there and those are things that you can set up very easily uh, as far as your font typeface it has a number of different selections that you can make your title font and your content font you can see that it's changing the different fonts you can add things in terms of as you blog different posts you can actually have a number of posts that are there uh, I'm gonna set this one at three also if you are going to have any kind of offer that you want people to order maybe it's a uh, an ebook or maybe it's just a, a simple request for information you can enable an opt-in form very easily just by clicking this box the service that I use is get response and I can give you some referrals in terms of Git response uh, that costs uh, somewhere between fifteen to thirty dollars a month very very easy to use and I have a coupon for you that you'll actually get a thirty dollar discount for the first month so uh, that will be included in your your blog that you're setting up so anyway so these are things that you can do um, social pop settings this is your Facebook Google Pinterest Twitter things of that nature any of the blog posts that you do uh, will have a feature so let's say when I click on the uh, blog post here it'll give you an opportunity to see that you have um, different social media settings there maybe not This is actually a, uh, this particular personal development blog is one that is just built in uh, when you start it out. You can actually delete that if you'd like. Um, as far as your author box settings, you can include a photograph, your bio, and then you're also connecting your Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, and you can actually have a call to action as well on there and you can set a certain font that you want for uh, your your name and then down at the bottom here banner ad settings there are some pre-built banners which I'm going to turn off all you have to do is unclick the enable so I'm going to just unclick those and you'll see this disappear okay now it's gone so those are the only two things that are available and you can just turn those off. Should you have a banner that you want to promote, you can actually enter the URL right here, and that might be uh, a website that you want to feature or something like that. Uh, that's something you can do very easily. And essentially, at this point, you know, with uh, with the exception of some visuals and um, uh, some content and that kind of thing, my blog is pretty much ready to go and now I just have to click save and publish 
and it's all ready to go.